What's up lovely people, Mario Gaming here and today I am going to show you the Sun Wuku Wave of Light build uh, and um, this is a little bit different guys uh, why I'm showing you this build uh, is because I want to show you that the build is actually not working if you don't have enough parallel levels so I'm going to show you uh, a good alternative to the build I'm first going to show you the build without Paragon and show you how it looks and then I'm gonna show you the build with paragons and I did remove my my crit uh, gems so my damage is very very low guys I c cannot uh, get my damage lower than this so this was the lowest I I could get I am using Vayner trapped I am using Vayner powerful and uh, I am using uh, boon of the hoarder it's basically uh, the same build as lashing tail kick but it's wave of light so I'm using the Sages set. Uh, why this is this will be so popular next season is because this is probably the first season when it's actually gonna be uh, when it's actually gonna be effective. So uh, in order to make it effective next season, guys, you are gonna play Lashing Tail Kick at the beginning of the season, and when you get higher Paragons, you can swap over to Wave of Light. Uh, the reason also to why so many people have been asking me uh, about this build uh, on my stream is because it is very fun to play. So I'm going to show you the build with low paragons. Uh, that is basically, you know, at the lowest I could get on dexterity. Let's just say low damage. 1.3 million is very low. So I'm going to show you the build with low damage and I'm going to show you the build with high damage and why it's so awesome and looks so fun to play as well. It's, it gives you kind of the same feeling as playing Multishot Demon Hunter, uh, which is really fun to play as well. Uh, you just blast the whole freaking screen, just everything just dies, and uh, the area of effect is amazing. I'm also going to show you uh, the build uh, using uh, the Spirit Stone here, Silk Quinn's Gaze or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm going to show you that because it's important that I show you that it does work with low Paragons, if you use this and Zystone instead of Bane of the Powerful. So you just switch out this and Bane of the Powerful. So that's the, the Helm, you switch that, bam. And then you use uh, the Crudus Boots. I'm too lazy, I'm not gonna get my Crudus Boots, so we're gonna run with Sages. Uh, also another, uh, another good, like, another chance to show you guys that the Spirit will be fine, but uh, sometimes you'll run out. Uh, anyways, let's jump into the rift to show you the build. So, you will see, like, especially on elites, it's going to be very, very slow compared to if I would use uh, the spirit stone here. As soon as you get some gold, when you use gold wrap, you're fine to go with, with the toughness. You're going to be, you, you can see here on the toughness, 8 billion. Like, not even my great rift pushing build has 8 million toughness. But you can see here, it's quite slow when it kills elites. And it's like nothing compared, like if you compare this to uh, the Unhallowed Essence Demon Hunter, it's very, very slow in terms of kill, kill speed. But as you can see, like no class moves faster than Monk. It's, that's that's it. There is no class. I do have a channeling now. I will show you guys when the channeling wears off that it's still going to be ridiculously fast. <laughs> But you can see, like, it takes a long time to kill stuff. So, we're gonna... Now the channeling, channeling ran out. So, look at this. It's still, like, ridiculous, as you can see, guys. And you can jump over stuff. Is that an elite here? Yeah, it is. Damage is fine. But as soon as you add two, three players into the mix, this damage will not be enough, guys. Like, so, la someone with the Lashing Tail Kick build will already be ahead and have killed the elite. And... If you don't want to fall behind on the torments, it's annoying because you have the TP and stuff, then you need to have the deeps. Also, you need to be speedy as well. So, Alright, let's see. You can see, guys, that the build is definitely lacking damage. The speed is good. Like, you move around, like, really quickly. Uh, but, uh, like, the, the time, time to kill is pretty damn slow, as you can see. Uh, what is this? Uh huh. Okay, nothing good. 
and also boss will probably be painfully slow yeah you can see here it is definitely slow guys so I don't need, need to show you guys any more of this You're, you can already see it's quite slow um, it's quite slow when it comes to like the speed of killing stuff it's quite slow especially on elites like the trash is you kill the trash pretty quickly but the elites and the boss I don't know what's going on today guys or like these last couple of days I'm getting witching hours every single day have you been having this by the way guys I don't know man I'm getting witching hours all the time I don't know what's going on man sometimes it just feels like the games the game is dealing out like every season the game guilt deals out a couple of uh, some of the items it deals out is uh, uh, you know it can be travelers pledges like all of a sudden you're you know you're on that period of the uh, travelers pledge and another time it's uh, compass roses so this time it's witching hours for me anyway sorry sorry guys I'm gonna show you the build now and how much better it is with uh, the spirit stone so we're gonna also change the gem uh, there we go and we want the cooldown gem here as well of course so check this out it's so much more different uh, we're at the same damage guys so no diff no difference here we have a, a frenzy pylon here so it's gonna give us a little bit more damage but we're still at 1.3 million damage so I'm gonna go into rift and show you that it's much much better if you use this particular spirit stone and also use uh, like the spirit stone makes it so that you can be ranged like with your wave of light and you can see the damages guys I don't really need to say anything the whole map gets uh, gets decimated uh, and it's way much more fun to play it like this especially like early season it's gonna be awesome if you want the way if you really want to play the wave of light this is the way to do it and then uh, you can go over to Sages when you have more damage. But I suggest that you use Lashing Tail Kick. That's my opinion. That's why I made the Lashing Tail Kick uh, guide. Because Lashing Tail Kick will be good from the start of the season with the Sages. You can use it instantly and it's going to be effective and it's going to be good. And you get one more uh, you get one more DB for every pack that you kill. Which is awesome. I Goblins, packs and uh, Rift Guardians. All of those will drop one more DB. Uh, you can see guys like it's crazy man how good the build is and how fast it is as well so as long as you as long as you uh, stay a little bit like ranged I don't want to kill this goblin too fast so you see that they disappear like sometimes when you when you one shot them I don't know why that happens but yeah it's a bug you also get less goblins if you're alone that's why it's better to farm with people as well you do get more loot in a party so you saw the difference guys and then I'm gonna show you the build uh, with uh, paragon levels as well and then that's it uh, there we go close that one down what am I identifying here so I should probably just gamble so I don't drop like blood shards on the ground Don't be mad at me, guys. I'm going to go and pick up the blood shards. Don't get triggered. There we go. 190 blood shards. So we are going to swap to Sages again. And I'm going to put on all my Paragons. And I'm going to show you the difference between using this with Paragons and without. So the first run we did was without Paragons. Now we have Paragons. And we're going to swap to Ice Stone because we're not playing a range build. There we go. So, I'm going to put on the Paragon Points. There we go. I was like, hmm, something's not right. There we go. And we also, we're also going to use the Crit Gems. Now this build will work, but without the paragons guys you much rather go for the the build that i showed you uh, before the fastest torment build in the game that's what the video is called 
and I will have a link down in the description so you can check it out but this particular build that I am playing right now you need a lot of paragons so I tried it without a lot of paragons with 1.3 million damage you'll see now that everything will die very very quickly and it's gonna work perfectly fine but before that it didn't so you can see here I didn't even have 10 stacks and that's that's the difference guys when you have a lot of paragons that's what happens everything just dies instantly like my damage went from 1.3 to 5 million so it's a huge difference the good thing with monk guys is the ability to move around the map like it's super quick when it comes to moving around the map I shouldn't have picked up that power actually maybe if I maybe if I go out maybe that's actually gonna get deleted Let's see nope yeah okay it did thank you power for being such a good friend All right, here we go. Uh, graveyard, perfect. Perfect. Perfect opportunity to show how much, how, how good the build is. Like in terms of like clearing the map quickly uh, for all of you. Uh, Wave of Light fans, this is such a joy to play maps like this. Really, really fun. I do pick up the DBs because a build if I show you a build, guys, without picking up the materials, it's not realistic. You you are going to pick up the materials. You need the materials in order to craft stuff and in order to upgrade stuff. So I'm going to pick up uh, the DBs. That's the only thing I'm after. That's the only thing I pick up. I do pick up everything from the Rift Guardian, though. So you can see, guys, the build works very, very well. Even in a full f f like four-man party, it's going to work well if you have the Paragon levels. I think... Uh, I think from what I've been testing, 16,000 dexterity. So approximately what I saw, like 3, 3.2 million damage was what I had. It did work. Uh, it did work for uh, uh, with the Sage's set. So when I used the Sage's set and used Wave of Light, it did work. Uh, with very, very low damage on the LTK build, it still works. Uh, Oh, I'm not going to salvage that one. Uh, it still works with the L Lashing Tail Kick build if you go for the Sage's set, even with where very low damage. So, that, that was bad. So, it does work. But with the Wave of Light, guys, you need Paragons. Otherwise, uh, use this setup here with the Zy Stone and instead of Bane of the Powerful. And use the Sukrin's Gaze, or whatever it's called. So there you go guys i showed you all the different variants of the wave of light like with low damage high damage and uh and also with uh with the spirit stone and uh, the Zy stone of vengeance uh with that being said beautiful people uh i will have both of the builds the the torment build with with the spirit stone the crudest boots and the Zy stone that will be down in the description and also the lashing tail kick build will be down in the description as well i suggest that you go for the lashing tail kick build guys for, for the beginning of the season because you will be able to run it with the sages and those uh, precious extra materials that you get from the sages are amazing because you can do this i'm going to just show you uh here we go we're going to go here we're going to craft we're going to craft fist weapon and i'm crafting 24 bam uh, this is always good to do every single season so we go to page 3 and it's going to take a lot of dbs 25 dbs per craft which is a lot that is why you're going to be starved for dbs all the season if you want to get items this is this is the way to do it not only do they drop from the greater rifts but you need to spend your materials so i am specifically looking for vengeful wind and not in Gyum, but uh, uh, Blade of Kyoshiro, uh, the Kyoshiro Blade. So not Blade of Kyoshiro, Kyoshiro Blade. So those two weapons I do look for. And it's been extremely difficult to get either of those and with the stats I actually want. So this is what I do. And 
another good thing is to do bounties do bounties especially now when uh, when demon hunter is so so good demon hunter is so good for bounties guys uh you can go t13 without any problem and uh it's super effective as well if you want to get items but you can see here you're like for those who wants to go for the lashing tail kick build as i will do at the beginning of the season uh you do have like the scar bringers look out of all these crafts uh items that i like could, could use at the beginning of the season is actually you know being crafted so you can do this with with swords if you want ingium for example if uh, you're having bad luck and it's not dropping you can do what i'm doing here for ingium so but this is this is basically why you want to run the sage set guys so with that being said lovely people uh thank you so much for the support on all the you know all the videos i've made uh and uh i wish you a good day or night and i'll see you the next sunday i will start uploading more and more guys but not yet uh i uh will definitely up upload more though guys so as soon as i get a lot of material to work with i will do that so thank you for today have a wonderful day or night and i'll see you next time peace love viewers